Good hello everybody and welcome to today's favorites video. I'm going to be discussing a few of my favorite products from the month of April with you guys. I apologize ahead of time if there is anything kind of weird going on in the background. I'm currently in Korea and there is a lot of noise in this neighborhood and the windows are very thin so if you hear uh, grandma's screaming or children screaming or any kind of screaming don't worry about it. So my makeup favorite for April was this Tarte uh, Lip Surgeon's Matte Lip Tint. This color is exposed and actually Gina snagged this for me at Playlist Live. I think Tarte had a few little gift bags or goodie bags or what have you. So I think the reason this made its way into my favorites is not only because the color is really nice and I think it's just a really well balanced neutral, but I also think that I really love the sheen. I don't always love wearing glossy lip color. I do a lot of the time because I feel like it's a little more hydrating, but there are definitely days where my makeup look calls for something matte and this really does the trick for me, but it also doesn't over dry my lips. So yeah, I'm really into this right now. Uh, although I have to say one thing that kind of ticks me off is that because it is so soft, it has a tendency to stick and I just realized when I went to open it to show the color that uh, the entire thing is stuck in the lid. I guess when it was closed it decided to um, turn up. But anyway, it is a nice product apart from I guess the small packaging flaw. My skincare favorite actually fell in the toilet yesterday. <laughs> if you guys saw my video, you saw that I kind of had a rough start yesterday morning. But it is a rose mint lip balm. Because I don't have it in front of me, I actually don't even remember the company name. I want to say it's like Smith's or something. I could completely be making that up. But I will put a link to it in the description as well as links to all of these products. So if you want to see what it actually looks like, uh, you can go and check it out. My skincare favorite is the Origins Calm to Your Senses Lavender and Vanilla Oil for Bath and Body. I actually was kind of wandering around the mall uh, with my boyfriend and we saw this and I was like oh my god I love lavender and I love vanilla and I love body oil and this is going somewhere kind of weird it's not sexual it's not I basically told him that I was gonna force him to give me massages with this stuff completely non sensual massages just platonic muscle rubbing. But yeah, so I picked it up and uh, I bought this handy little pump. I think it was like two bucks and it's just really convenient to not have to like pour it in your hands and have oil all over the place because that's what people do. But yeah, it just smells incredibly nice and surprisingly absorbs very quickly. I've tried some other body oils and kind of um, massage oils and hydrating products and I think that they just piss me off because they sit on my skin for too long and I really don't like going to bed slimy. So yeah, this is a really nice one if you want something that's very soothing and also absorbs really well. I definitely recommend this. My hair care favorite is this Oidad Vita Curl. This is the Tress Effect Styling Gel. I actually bought I think it was at Ulta. I bought a little kit that came with the shampoo, the conditioner, a styling gel, and then a kind of finishing spray. So I've been trying this out um, kind of randomly and I've been experimenting with my natural hair. And for those of you who used to watch my videos, I'm sure you know that I've had a keratin on for a couple of years actually. And so this is the longest I've gone without getting one. And my hair is basically entirely back to its natural curl, which I didn't really like in the beginning, but I'm slowly getting used to. It's just a really big change, but these products have definitely kind of helped me ease back into to that and I'm trying new curl stuff all the time but so far I've really really enjoyed this. My home favorite for April uh, is actually this Woodwick candle. When I arrived in Korea Chase brought me this little gift bag because he knows how much I love them. They have this nifty Woodwick, imagine that, aptly named, and it crackles. It actually makes a really cool sound as it burns so it's a really really interesting concept. So yeah this one is jasmine and it's gorgeous. I love it. My music favorite for April was actually Marina and the Diamonds. It is a song called Oh No no, and it is off, I think, one of their really early albums, maybe their first EP, I honestly don't remember, but it's called The Family Jewels. I know she's released several things since then, but my brother showed me this song a little while ago and I've just been totally obsessed with it. I think the lyrics are very, very pertinent to today's culture. I think that they are just great. I love this song. So go give it a listen, Oh No by Marina and the Diamonds. It is a great jam. And finally, my random favorite for April is actually this necklace that I'm wearing right now. This necklace came from a website called Minnow Jewelry, and it's this woman who basically uh, recycles old metals into really interesting and really minimalist jewelry designs. Some of her stuff is a lot larger than this, but I find them all to be really simple and really nice designs, and I just really love what she does with the metals. They all look like they're very professionally made, but they definitely 
definitely all have kind of that handmade touch to them. Like none of them look creepily perfect, which I kind of like. So this is the tiny bar necklace in gold and I actually just love this. It's so simple and I think it goes really well with a lot of different outfits and it's just nice to layer. You can do really anything with it. I tend to wear it alone because I don't like to wear a ton of jewelry, but yeah, I love it. Ugh, giant truck. Get out of here, quit doing your job. So yeah, I apologize that this isn't my standard favorites format, I'm kind of making do with what I've got here. I don't have any lights or a tripod, I'm actually using a PS4 box to kind of balance my camera precariously on the windowsill, and I can't even believe it hasn't fallen yet. If you guys have any additional questions about any of the products that I talk about in this video, please don't hesitate to tweet me, it's just at Speed, or you can ask me in the comments below and I will do my best to answer all of you guys. Thanks again for watching, please don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye guys! Thank you.